Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dallas Daily Show, coming at you from the Neighborhood Loan Studio here in St. Louis, Missouri. Today's episode is Winning Game Plan, Part 5. All right, let's get into it. Okay, everybody, so this entire week, we've been talking about this idea of winning game plan. Quick little 30-second recap. In my life, I felt like I was losing, and because I was competitive enough, I was like, if I'm losing, I want to find a way to win. I was in severe anxiety disorder, major depression at the time, and I thought, I need to find a game plan for winning in my life. So yes, this is a mental health game plan that helped me overcome, but it's four eyes to help you overcome the four fail factors. So Fail factor number one, fatigue, right? We can all get worn down, and when we're when our resilience is low, temptation to collapse is high, all right? Anxiety, number two, F-A-I-L. That's what we're spelling out here on the four fail factors. Fatigue, anxiety, m- imagination incorrectly directed toward wrong possible outcomes. Then number three is identity. We talked about that a little bit yesterday in our episode and how if we can't keep the micro promises to ourselves, we begin to question who we really are and do we have the integrity of who we really say we are. And then lack of accountability. That's the fourth fail factor. When we're in isolation, when we're in solitude, when we're alone, just left to our own thoughts we can really fall into one of the four fail factors. So we overcome that with this game plan of every day growing in our insights, every day growing in our imagination, every day expanding in our identity of who we are. And now today we're going to talk about our impact. This is number four of this. And I want to, I'm going to leave you today with a, what I call the four I prayer. Don't worry. It's <laughs> I'm not going to freak you out and go hyper-religious on you, but it's something I'm going to begin to pray and bless you with every day. But this fourth idea, this impact, we only impact other people, right? And a lot of the times we see negative impact of our choices. We see the negative impact of our decisions. We see the negative impact of our behaviors and how it affects others. Now, you might think you are alone, but I'm telling you, you you are not alone and that The things that you do have an impact, a ripple effect on other people. Just think about the people who have impacted your life for just a moment, both good and bad. Think about the teacher that you loved. You can still remember her name and what she taught you about not just just the subject she was teaching you, but also just about life in general. And you're like, oh, I remember that teacher or the pastor, or, or maybe it was the boss, or maybe you were negatively affected by one of those people, right? What was the thing that negatively affected you? Every one of us, as we interact with other people, we are impacted for them. And so much of our life is affected by the choices of other people, and we have to understand that the effect of others, we are now using to effect others as well. So it's both coming in and it's going out, either positive or negative. I'd like to submit to you that you have the possibility of creating a positive impact in people's lives every day. And it's going to start with how you're affected by the world around you, by the media you're consuming, by the information that you're taking in, by the mindset. If you're in the old trigger belief behavior cycle, remember, we talk about that, I think, just about every episode, everybody. If you're in the old trigger belief behavior cycle, then what happens is you're getting caught in that now rippling out to everyone else around you. But there's a positive you, there's an idealized, realized future you that you want to become. And if we can begin to understand how does that person who I want to be, the ideal me, how does that person positively affect the world around him? See, we usually affect the upline, the downline, right? So let's take it to work, right? You have an effect on the people above you. You have an effect on the people below you. You have an effect into your team and ultimately you have an effect out to your clients. I talk on this in some of my keynotes, up, down, in, out communication, but that happens in families as well, right? Right. The, the effect you have on your, in your spouse, your significant other, your partner, the effect that you have on your children, the effect that you might have on your brothers and sisters or on your parents, up, down, in, out, the effect you have on your neighbors, the effect you have on your friends, Are you having a positive impact in their life? Because if you think of impact, it's you left an indelible imprint. 
you made such an impact in them that the world was better because you were in it. Those lives were better because you were in it. And I, I want to propose to you that you have the possibility of being a positive impact on other people's lives every day. And it starts with setting an intention. Remember our four eyes. It sets an intention to create a positive impact. Will plus action. You want to, I will have a positive impact on people, and then you actually act on it and you go out and have that positive impact. So here's what I'm going to have you do today as a positive play call, as a practical application step. You've seen me talk about these all week here, but on our website, dallasdailyshow.com, and we've got the direct link down in the notes below for you as well. But we have this card here. It's, it's free for you to download. The positive play call, it's just a little template. You can see... I, I put, print mine up on cardstock because then I cut it up into pieces like this and I create little positive play calls that I leave in books. I keep them, you know, I keep them on the counter. I keep them on a mirror. I have one on my dashboard as we speak. And I just write down the thought of today's episode on the positive play call. So go to the website, download the thing, and on the positive play call card for today, you're going to write this question Who will I positively impact today? And you're going to put that somewhere where you want to see it. Maybe you need to put it on the dashboard of your car so that you don't ram somebody when they pass you and they start going under the speed limit and they're making you mad in traffic. You go, who can I positively impact today? Maybe it's putting it somewhere where you can make a positive impact on a loved one, on a child. Maybe it's just having it out there where maybe you see a stranger and you go to have a positive impact. So you and I can be affected but the most important thing we can do in the world is have an effect for positive change for others. So I want you to download that card, write on it, who will I positively impact today? Put it somewhere where you can see it. Go out there into the world and make a positive impact. And before you leave today, I'm going to just, I told you, now that you have the winning game plan and you can go back and re-watch or re-listen to all the episodes, I want to pray for your four eyes that today, my friend, that you would grow in your insight and the revelation of what you're learning and who you're becoming, that you would also grow in your imagination of who you are and who you can be, that you would grow in your intention of your will plus your action, and I pray that you would also grow in the positive impact that you have in the world around you. May you expand in all four eyes today, my friend, and go out there and have a championship day. Thanks for listening to my dad's podcast. For more tools, go to DallasDailyShow.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.